What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. So today we're going to be taking another look at the 1.17 trailer before we showed you everything that the trailer missed in the new update and today we're going to show you everything that you missed in the new 1.17 update trailer. They have a lot of special little hidden uh, features in the 1.17 trailer that you probably didn't notice so we wanted to go over it and just show you everything that you missed. If you enjoyed today's video be sure to drop a like down below and if you're new to the channel of course hit that subscribe button let's get right into it right off the bat we have to take a look at exactly what steve is placing this copper block onto right below it seems to be copper stairs that go out on either side so uh we're not too sure how he's actually building this house but maybe they're hinting at some new minecraft physics that we will see in the future i highly doubt it Next up, right in the background on the balcony, we can actually see it looks like a sheep doing yoga on the balcony. And it's doing a small pose and just kind of looking out into the rain. And this is right before we see Steve get hit by the first goat of this trailer. Of course, the next few scenes, we don't really see too many things in the background. Uh, this first one is just the goat hitting him off. And we of course see the lightning rod. Uh, we have some new blocks here, the azalea bush and the hanging vines. And then in the background here, we can see a shipwreck. Now, in the background here, you'll notice it looks like a Minecraft character is fishing and he has something behind him. It's very hard to tell what it is from this distance, possibly a goat because that is what is mainly featured in the background of this trailer, but we can't be too sure of what that is. Uh, however, they are definitely fishing on the ice and just sitting out there uh, having a good time. We cut back away and we see Alex get smashed by the goat. But right in the background, we can actually see Steve doing goat yoga and he has the goat on his back as he's taking uh, a mountain pose and doing some yoga in the very snowy and cold tundra. After that, we get a sand pyramid scene and then of course the amethyst cave and if you'll notice down below, Alex is actually now doing goat yoga. Uh, right at the bottom of the screen here. The next scene we see is the axolotls messing up a uh, guardian, and then we cut back to this. Alex is still trying to do goat yoga, but it looks like the goat is too heavy for her and she has collapsed beneath the goat. We move on and we don't really see too much in the nether as there's not anything new in this update in the nether, but we do see a few more scenes of the goats uh, hitting other things. And of course, then we get the iconic llama scene. In this scene, the only things I could find in the background were two goats standing on the acacia trees right behind the bigger llama. We also have some pretty incredible world generation in the background, and I would love if that were in my world. We of course then see the llama get punted, and then the next scene up, we can actually see a goat swimming underwater behind this axolotl here. I do now wish that we had some underwater mechanics with goats, but I doubt we'll ever see that happen. Right after, we go to a pillager tower, and we can actually see a couple things here. First of all, we can see these chickens up top here, and they seem to be having a conversation. And then we actually see the villager head, uh, which has been mounted in front of the pillager tower. Then we go into the final scenes of the trailer, and we can actually see one more little thing in the background here. Steve and Alex are in the background watching the sunset and not affected by this explosion of mobs and stuff coming forward. Does that mean that they actually threw TNT and set all these things in motion? Who knows, but we do see them and they seem pretty suspicious. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that I pointed out a few things that you may not have seen when you first watched the trailer. If you did, be sure to drop a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button. We have a lot of new Minecraft content coming out right now, and I'm sure you'll want to stay tuned. Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time.